Ladies and gentlemen, Lola. She is the enchantress of a steamy underground cabaret. Hey, Berlin. You only see what I want you to see. Sometimes cold, sometimes hot, sometimes real and sometimes not. Now a maestro from East Berlin and his protege have crossed into Lola's world and over the private boundaries of their lives. I don't like that behind the great big wall of yours. They are caught in a triangle of passion. At your age, everything seems so easy. That threatens their friendship, their music, and their lives. She thinks you're going to defect. What the hell do you know? I suppose you wouldn't consider living in the East. I hate waiting in lines. Don't get caught. Inside the walls of freedom lies a struggle of the heart. Julia McGinnis and Keith Baxter star in Berlin Blues. He'd never had a case like this before. Yeah? I want you to find my wife. Shouldn't be hard. She's in New York. She's following me. If she's following you, why don't you just stand still? Let her catch up to you. I don't want to see her. I'm not following this, Mr. Rand. Are you and your wife divorced? My wife was killed in a boating accident in 1975. Your wife has been dead for over 10 years, and she's following you around, and you want me to? thousand dollars, cash in advance. That will probably end up covering the entire project, Mr. Mallard, but I'm desperate. I think... I'm your man. Go speak to her, for God's sake. That's my wife. There's nothing fair about me, Eddie. I start the game owning Boardwalk and Park Place, and everybody pays. It seems she left something in her will about wanting to be buried naked, with nothing on but her jewels. Those are the rocks she was buried in, and they are hot as Hades. She's back from the grave, Eddie. She knows things we don't know. I'm worse than you can imagine. <laughs> What the hell are you doing? Make love to me, Eddie. Make love to me! Haunting. Erotic. The tale of supernatural suspense. Can a man sleep with a ghost? You chose me. And you'll go on choosing me. As awful as it gets. A classic mystery thriller. With a twisted edge of terror. Virginia Madsen. Tommy Lee Jones. The dead can't lie. On a night full of stars, in a campground full of families, Lindy Chamberlain lived the nightmare that every mother fears. God. Please, God, help me. My baby! My baby! And the press found a victim. Meryl Streep stars in a true story of a brave mother's trial. She's a witch, you know. You're crediting me with the perfect murder. Someone is definitely out to get us. Tell me what really happened to your little sister. Lindy's Kate. private life became public property. Her grief became a sideshow. And her innocence became a story no one wanted to hear. I'd like to know more than anyone else what happened to my my baby daughter. Would you like me to give you a ten minute break? No, I'd prefer to go on with it, Your Honour. This has been going on for two years now. I want to get it over with. It's not going over well with the jury. Try and be more demure. I won't be squashed into some dumb act for the public. Lindy Chamberlain's courage inflamed a nation. But her triumph inspired the world. Meryl Streep Sam Neill, A Cry in the Dark. From the master of mystery comes a classic tale of terror and suspense. Agatha Christie's Ten Little Indians. Ten unsuspecting strangers 
have accepted an invitation to murder. I don't call that murder. I call that bloody bad luck. Ten little Indians went out to dine. One choked on himself and then there were nine. None of us are going to leave. That is the plan. Whoever's out there killing us one by one is lamping, and we're still here stranded and helpless. You won't be out there long. Let's go. You were the only one who had any bullets. Of course it's you. It isn't true. It was murder in a way. You had a whole day in which to, uh, shall we say, arrange things. We're being picked off like flies. Who's next? Uh, the devil is amongst us. We have to stick together. He's right. No, thank you. <laughs> Canon Films presents Donald Pleasance, Brenda Vaccaro, Frank Stallone, and Herbert Long in Agatha Christie's Ten Little Indians.